Good morning, Lancers. Welcome to the second edition of Lancers in the News. I'm Ariana Williams. And I'm Owen Egger. We have some interesting stories and important announcements to share with you today, but first, we're introducing a brand new segment to our newscast. The Lance reporter Owen Egger interviewed Richard Williams, aka Richard Does It, for Amat's first ever student profile. Richard Does It. Oh no. Mixtape coming real, real soon. Oh no. Uh, I'm Richard, and I like to rap, because it's, it's fun. Richard Williams, who goes by Richard Does It on Twitter, is a senior Lancer with a 4.55 GPA. His single, Yikes, has 21,000 listens on SoundCloud. I sat down with Richard to ask what makes Yikes special. Uh, there's nothing particularly special about it. I just market it differently. I got my friends Luis and Teddy. They, uh, they got me a bigger voice on Twitter, and you know, they made sure that more people heard it than they usually do, so I got more views this time. We knew that by exposing it to more people, it was just going to be a greater honesty listening to it and liking his song. Aside from excelling in the classroom with straight A's for three years, Richard has found time to explore his passion for rap. I asked Richard what motivates him. I think the reason why I rap is, is just everybody has something that makes them happy and to me making music is what makes me happy and I can't sing so I rap instead because that's the only way I can make music. So. The last question I asked Richard is, what's next? Next is I got a mixtape dropping. It's supposed to drop Sunday but I decided that if the Lancers win tonight then I will drop it tonight early. I'll make sure that it's there for when you guys need to get home. So, go Lancers. I'm Owen Egger, reporting for The Lance. Good job, Owen. Now on to some important announcements. Following colleges are sending representatives to our campus next week. Seattle University and University of Laverne will be at Mr. Scott's office on Thursday, and on Friday, Villanova University will be here. Looking for something to do this weekend? Bryce Volleyball will be playing in Los Osos' tournament Friday and Saturday at Etiwata High School. Friday start time will be at 3 p.m. and Saturdays at 8 a.m. Today is the last day to turn in your CSF applications. Please come by at first break, second break, or at lunch. Members must reapply each semester. Remember to come prepared with your completed application, a copy of your report card or transcript, and $4 dues to room 405. If you have any questions, see Ms. Morales. Attention all Anime Club members. Our first meeting will be held today in room 506. Please plan to be there. If you're participating in today's Adopt-A-Grandparent, meet in room 104 immediately after school. The yearly school supplies drive is now ongoing and will run until September 25th. Last year, Almont students donated to the St. Kevin Church CCD program, Precious Blood Church Elementary School, and the South Central LAMP Literacy Program. These organizations were so appreciative of your help. So gather all your extra school supplies and please bring them to your religion class. As summer is beginning to transition into fall, the cross-country team is preparing to begin their road to CAF once more. Here's Ashley Villavicencio with a report. Last season, the boys' cross-country team won the state championship. But while the girls won the CIF Southern Section Championship, they were disappointed in their second-place result at state. Hi, I'm Alec Palomino, and I'm a junior and I do cross-country. This season, we've been working really hard, extra hard, because last year we got second in state, so we're hoping to win this year, and we have some new fast people, and they're really good, so we've just been training extra hard. The success of this season might fall on the shoulders of Ali Palomino, Jessica Gallardo, and Samantha Cabrera for the girls, and seniors Adrian Diaz and Robbie Santoyo for the boys. Um, this season, we're expecting to uh, hopefully win CIF again and obviously go to state and take it this year, unlike last year when we got second, so we're going to come back. And thankfully, we got Jessica, who's going to really help us out this year. We, in our top uh, five, we have five of the top runners in the state. Um, Ali Palomino is the fastest uh, returning girl in division. Until state comes, working hard at practice is the key. This is Ashley V. We have one last special announcement to make. The Lance Productions will be holding a contest on who could create the best recruiting video for Bishop Amat. The winner will receive a gift card prize. The video must be between 90 seconds and 2 minutes. Anything longer will be disqualified. The deadline for this video will be on Friday, September 17th. See Mr. Del Muro for more information. Thanks for watching this edition of Lancers in the News. See you at the rally!